Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be trying on some lip products for you. Um, I asked you guys if you wanted me to do a lip try on video for the new Flower Beauty lip products that launched. I recently did do like a haul slash review on the products that I purchased from Flower Beauty from Walmart. So if you're interested in that, I will link it up here, the little eye. But I also asked if you guys wanted me to do a try on video on the lip products and you guys said yes. So since that video, I have actually purchased some more of the lip products because they didn't have all of the shades in stock when I first picked these up. So I have picked up a few more, especially like of the actual lipsticks. So we have these here. These are the Miracle Matte Lips. We have these here. These are the, what are these called? The Petal Pout Lip Colors. And I think they have matte and cream finishes. Yes, I have two creams and three mattes here. So I don't have the full line of all of the actual products, but I did pick up the ones that I thought that I would wear the most. And then I picked up one of these. This is the Mix and Matte Lip Duo. So first I think I'm gonna start off with the lipsticks, the regular lipsticks. So I'm gonna start off with the Petal Pout Lip Colors. This is what they look like here. I always love the Flower Beauty packaging. And so the first shade I have here is Warm Sand. It's a matte finish. It's number 025. Feels pretty comfortable. Now I haven't worn these all day, like for like eight hours or anything, so I can attest to how they wear but I just wanted to do this try on haul video for you. But the times that I have worn the previous one or two, I can't remember how many I bought the first time around, I did wear it and I did like it. I thought it felt very comfortable on the lips, but I haven't worn it like for eight, like five or eight hours or anything like that, just for a couple hours. So, so far I'm really liking these, these are nice. So the next one I have here is Cinnamon Crush. It's a matte finish, it's number 30. All right, so the next one I have here is 035 Spiced Petal. It's a cream finish. This one definitely has a little bit more of a glossy finish, but it's not super glossy. It just has a little shine to it. And I feel like the pigmentation, it still ha it has good pigmentation, but I feel like the matte ones definitely feel richer in pigment. So the next one here is number 40, Pink Dust. It's a cream finish. And then the last one I have here is number 50, Autumn Rose. It's a matte finish. You can see they're all kind of in the same color family. They're all very neutral. And they all kind of look a little similar to be quite honest. Probably didn't need all of these, but for the purpose of you guys, I purchased a lot of the neutral shades just so that I could swatch them on my lips for you guys. But overall, both formulas feel really nice. They're nice and smooth and creamy on the lips. They have good pigmentation. The mattes feel a little bit thicker and richer in pigment and then the cream formula, they're still pigmented, but they have a little bit of a thinner consistency and just a slight glossy finish, not too glossy where they slip and slide all over your lips. Thumbs up to both of these formulas because they're really nice and these colors are really pretty too. All right, so next I'm gonna move over to this. This is the Mix and Matte Lip Duo. I only picked up one of these. They didn't have as many color options in this particular product as they did with the others. It says two finishes matte color and a pearlized gloss that matches. The shade that I got is Honey Nude. So once again, the packaging on this is really pretty. It has a rose gold. It has a flower label logo on this side and then it says the name of the product on this side, but the actual name of the gloss and stuff is on the bottom. So, gotta figure out which one. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so you take the top off 
and that's the lipstick right there. I hope this is not the same shade as like one of the other ones I picked up, so I think it's different. I like it, I like this color. Okay, and then on the bottom is the actual lip gloss. You just have to twist this off. It has a doe foot applicator. So that was without the lip gloss, and now this is with it on top. It's really pretty. And nice and smooth, too. I like that. So. so this is a product I can definitely see me like throwing in my purse. So there you go. So the thing I like about the gloss is it's not so glossy that it would slip outside the lip lines. I don't like when glosses are like so overly shiny that they just kind of move around and slip all over the place. So I really like the formula on that gloss. It's not overly glossy, but it's still, it's almost like has a little bit of a almost metallic, not quite um, finish to it. And it's very smooth on the lips pairs really well together. Good job, Flower Beauty. All right, guys, so next we're moving on to these. These are the Miracle Matte Lips. Again, packaging is really nice, on par with high-end products. I really like the packaging on these. So the Doe Fit applicator on these is like flat, but it's very, very soft and fluffy. Picks up a lot of product. It deposits a lot of product on your lips and it's very easy to outline your lips. So I really like the Doe Foot applicator on here. So the first shade here is Bare Honey. So you can see right off the bat, it's super pigmented. And for me, I feel like this color needs either like a lip gloss on top or a lip liner. And I also feel like you have to wipe the center, do you see? I think it's more the shade than anything because a lot a lot of times these really light liquid lipsticks they give you the butthole lips <laughs> so yeah I just feel like I feel like wiping away the inside is the best so this particular color it looks a little better now that it has dried down but when I first applied it I feel like it was a little bit lighter and I feel like this color would be best on me, probably with a lip gloss on top, maybe a lip liner um, that kind of matches it around the perimeter of my lips. I think it would just look better just because this color is kind of light, but it has dried down now. So it's a very comfortable matte. Uh, I wouldn't say it's 100% transfer proof, like just touching my lips, I got a little bit on my finger, but I actually kind of prefer that formula over like super drying matte non-transfer liquid lipsticks i just feel like these are more comfortable and i don't mind that they transfer a little bit i can just apply more it's not a big deal in my opinion so these are a really nice formula i really like them they have kind of like a whipped moussey texture to them they almost feel like velvety not quite like a really dry parched lip you know what i mean so this one here is nude blush I just recommend with these are so pigmented, I would recommend doing like the whole finger thing to get the excess around the inside because there's a lot of excess because they're so pigmented. And see, they're very easy to take off. It doesn't, you don't have to struggle to try to get them off because they are not so drying that they're non-transfer proof. They do transfer a little bit, but it also makes it easier to remove them. This one here is called Rosewood. So I really like this color Rosewood. I think it's really pretty. I kind of like those brownie nudes. This one's definitely like a brownie nude, medium toned. This next one here is Merlot Kiss.
All right. So the last one I have is dark and stormy. Okay, I just wanna show you guys how much pigment these have. Like when you pull this out and you swatch it, let me show you. Like, look at how much pigment. It's pigmented. So anyway, if you're into these very dark, vampy shades, like uh, purpley grayish tones, you might really like this. I personally probably wouldn't wear this out in public, honestly. I didn't expect it to be quite as dark as it is. I knew that it would be a little vampy, but it's pretty dark. I definitely feel like they apply or dry down darker than they look in the actual tube, like you can see here. So just keep note of that, but it's a cool color. I just wouldn't wear this in public. So anyway, those are all the ones that I picked up. Definitely would wear these three the most. My favorite, I think, is this rosewood shade right there. I did use this one in a prior video, but I put the lightest one on top. Let me show you guys. So that's a little more wearable in my opinion, but it looks like it's like really dark outlined. All right guys, so I was going through my bag and I found one more that I did not do a lip swatch on. So I already wiped all the swatches off my hand of the prior lipsticks, so I am sorry about that. But this one's number 20, Naked Blush, and it's a matte finish. All right, so I'm gonna swatch it next to the second to the lightest shade here. It's number 025 Warm Sand. So I'm sorry I already had wiped everything off. Warm Sand is also a matte finish. So there's a little comparison between those two right there. All right guys, so, so that completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys have picked up any of the new products from Flower Beauty, especially the lip products. Let us know your thoughts down. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching as always. I love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.